How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have a big next uh, about a day and a half here and I want to go over that. Uh, if you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video as well so you can see future videos just like this one. While you're down there, I saw something interesting. Yesterday I talked about uh, treasure and why you would want to make sure that you're comfortable and have your crypto on a cold storage device instead of an exchange. You know, there's still lots of exchanges that could blow up. Um, and I saw like 300 people click on treasure, uh, partly because I have a 15% discount. I literally gave the entire affiliate commission to the discount side, so I'm not making anything if you buy a treasure. Uh, but I, I wanna spread that message, which is why I'm giving more off. Uh, so I saw like 300 people click on this and eight people buy it. So uh, if if you're wondering if now is a good time to buy a treasure, I think it is. They don't usually go on sale uh, except for if you get discount codes and this is the, the highest discount you can get. Uh, so definitely check that out underneath the video. It's definitely worth getting one, even if you're getting one for like a significant other or a friend or something for the holidays, I would, I would highly suggest doing that. Now, I also want to say there's a link to Bag Tracker AI. We've had over 300 people sign up uh, for the pre-register. Throw yourself on there if you're still waiting. Uh, just put yourself on there so that way you can get information about it in the future um, and you can join early. So yesterday we had something kind of crazy happen. We had false news about the Bitcoin spot ETF. Now, like everyone, I think I was excited when I saw it, but I was a little bit cautious. Um, because we only had one new source that came out with it, Cointelegraph, and then everyone was posting about it on Twitter. Uh, but usually it comes out from something like Bloomberg first. Now, when this happened, the, the price obviously spiked up. We went up to about $30,000. We're actually higher than we were before this came out. We're up a couple percent from yesterday. Um, and I think the real reason for that is because people realize even though the ETF was not approved, uh, Obviously, when it does get approved, there's going to be a lot of interest. It's not already priced in. We moved up 10% within a few minutes, and that was only with one news source. So obviously, if more news sources actually report on it and make it so that more people believe it, there'll be more buying, right? Like I didn't buy anything yesterday. I was excited, but you know, I tried to buy beforehand, and it was kind of unconfirmed, as as I said. Uh, so when there's more positive news um, about this or more people reporting on it. Obviously, it will spike up even faster, probably higher than uh, 10%. And what I've said in the past is that's not really the biggest moment. The biggest moment's when uh, not Larry Fink is talking about Bitcoin and the spot ETF, but when all the financial advisors are talking about it, when uh, retirement funds start including it in their portfolios, that's going to be really the watershed moment. That's going to be the game changer um, for when we get the price to continue to move up. It's not about when it gets approved. It's about actual adoption and people uh, including it, as I said, and buying it weekly without even knowing it. So that's going to be huge. Now, yesterday, though, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink did talk about Bitcoin. Let me play this for you. I'm going to have to play it kind of loud. Way beyond we are hearing from clients around the world about the need for crypto. I mean, when you think about, I think some of this rally is way beyond the rumor. I think the, the rally today is about a flight to quality with all the, you know, all the issues around the Israeli war now, um, global terrorism. And I think there's more people running into a fight, the quality, whether that is in treasuries, gold, or crypto, depending on how you think about it. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. So the CEO of BlackRock talking about how Bitcoin is right up there with cash and gold in terms of safety and quality. Obviously, a lot of people hold him in high esteem. Uh, and that obviously is probably changing some minds out there. It's not just you know, 20 somethings talking about crypto. It's someone that runs one of the largest uh, asset under management companies in the world. So that's obviously very positive. Now we did see some inflows into crypto again. We saw the most going into Bitcoin, but Solana still coming in with the, with some inflows. If you remember last week, we actually saw a lot of Solana. I believe it was around 20 million. I could be off on that, but I think it was around 20 million flowing into Solana. Uh, and Solana's made a nice run recently. Bitcoin dominance has gone up, but Solana 
has broken the top seven. And even in the last 24 hours, you can see up 5.34%, uh, outpacing Bitcoin. And over the last seven days, up nearly 7% outpacing Bitcoin. Uh, you can't say that about many other cryptos. Uh, so definitely positive for Solana there. Now I want to move over away from crypto for a minute uh, to talk about the UAW strike. This has gone on for 32 days and Ford has now furloughed about 2,500 employees citing impacts of the strike. I believe they just cut another 700 employees from the F-150 plant just yesterday, not citing the strike, but for other reasons. Now it's cost the three Detroit automakers, suppliers, dealers, and workers a total of $7.7 billion uh, through October 12th. I saw something that showed that Ford was losing 40 something million dollars a day. So not getting political here, just saying that these companies are obviously hurting a lot from this. And we have Tesla just coming out with really low prices, uh, $399 a month for a Model Y lease, $330 a month for a Model 3 lease. Um, just crazy how, how much it's changed. And you can see how much the cars have changed too. I remember back in the early 2010s really liking the Teslas, but when you look at where they were back then, 265 miles uh, range, zero to 60, 4.4 seconds, starting price of 95,000. Now the Model 3 performance, you can get 315 miles range, so 20% higher range, uh, 3.1 seconds, zero to 60, and starting price of $51,000. I believe that's even. Uh, I believe that's after the seventy-five hundred dollar credit, but before cost savings. And this just shows forty-seven percent cheaper, thirty percent faster, nineteen percent more range versus the fastest Tesla from eleven years ago. They're getting so much better. Um, and if if you are looking to buy one, I do have a link that can get us both two hundred and fifty dollars, and then you get three months of free supercharging underneath the video but they are just amazing cars. And I think if you're buying a new one, you have to consider this. So at the same time, the uh, Ford GM are bleeding money, tens of millions of dollars a day, uh, ten, some tens of millions of dollars uh, every six hours. We have Tesla uh, cutting costs and making it much easier for people to buy. And I think, I, I think it's becoming a lot more obvious uh, why you might want a Tesla, but there's still a lot of questions for people out there like, uh, how am I going to charge? But then people realize, oh, you just charge like you would charge your phone every night. And a lot of people don't get that yet. So it'll be interesting to see how the numbers uh, or how, how sales go over the next year. Now, Tesla does report earnings tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Expectations are $24.22 billion in revenue and $0.74 cents EPS. Those are pretty low expectations. That would be a growth of about 13% year over year. Obviously, this is just a really difficult time for all auto automakers uh, with rates going up so much. And it is expecting a decrease of about 20 something percent in EPS. But uh, I think with Tesla, like a lot of companies, you have to look over the long term, not just when it's one of the toughest uh, rate cycles we've ever seen, because honestly, they're still growing, which is fantastic. Um, and they're coming along in a lot of other categories as well really nicely you can see that too by the price you know even though we're slowing revenue growth and slowing eps the price has gone up 135 percent this year so there's a reason investors are still buying even though they're looking at slower uh, eps growth and slower revenue growth let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video again check out treasure you're not going to get a better deal on it you need a cold storage device and honestly if you have one you might want to consider splitting it up to two different crypto devices depending on your portfolio size. Also check out Bag Tracker AI. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.